we had brought with us a range of tests and spent some time assessing what they could and could not see. They're very large numbers in a round circle. And just tell me whatever number you see. And if you don't see a number, just say there are no numbers there. Okay? All right, we'll start off with this one here. Cool. Very good. And similarly in this one. Okay, and how about this one here? For instance, it was soon clear that Entis could distinguish differences in tone, but not in color. Okay. Or this one? Hmm? The thing to do is to point to where the internal one is exactly the same as the surround. Yeah. Yes. This one? Mm -hmm. Fine. Here is wool of different colors. I want you to make a pile and put the dark on one side and the light on another side. I know I'm going to go to the house. 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 He says that the, the color is uh, red. You think this? You think this is red? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's it's a dark color. Yes. Dark. Okay. Is there any difference between these? Same. Okay. 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 The black one was called red because he is used to red looking like this. Um, the, um, all of our subjects sort of tend to look down and they squint a little bit and they're bothered by bright light. And, uh, and I think especially with a brilliant day like this, if they had darker glasses, it would, uh, it would make life easier. They wouldn't, they wouldn't have to squint so much. Okay. We had brought specially designed dark glasses as the single most effective thing we could do for the colorblind. I think glasses like this could be a great help and certainly an option whenever it's brilliantly light like this. If it can become sort of acceptable and attractive, the thing to do, it'll become a trademark of Pingalap. You know, you, will, you won't be part of the inset unless you have these. The type of color blindness Knut shares with the Pingalapis is an inherited condition. It occurs in the general population perhaps only once in every 40,000 births. But here on Pingalap, one in 12 of the population is totally colorblind. What has allowed this normally weak gene to run riot through the Pingalapese population? Certainly one cause has been the isolation of the community, cut off from frequent contact with other people. Another has been their religion. We learned that in the 1870s, the island had been converted to Congregationalism, a Christian sect which discourages marriage outside its own small community. But natural disaster has also played its part. These Pacific islands are occasionally devastated by violent typhoons. This happened in Pingalap in 1775, and the population was reduced to about 20, one of whom probably carried the achromatopia gene. The population then started to regenerate, but with intermarriage and inbreeding, the colorblind gene spread. Two generations after the typhoon, there was a first appearance of achromatopia, and it went from there. Today, 
achromatopia is so common in Pingalap that it is not regarded as special. We saw this when we went to meet Entis Edward, whom we had tested at the dispensary. He is an acromat, and he has three children who are all acromats. His wife is probably, since she's not an acromat, she must be a carrier of this gene. And that's the reason for the high incidence in this family. It will um, afflict nearly all the children in practice. None will go free. If they had children who are not acromats, they will still be carriers. You see? Mm. Knut always carries a monocular to help his poor visual acuity. Or just turn it until you can see his hand. Entis had never used such an aid. I know that seeing small detail at a distance is hard for him as it is for me. I feel kinship, as you uh, suggested. It's, 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 uh, it's as uh, meeting someone who, who I'm on terms with, visually speaking. I know that okay, he... Okay, okay. Ah, good. You got a good picture. <laughs> yes? A trichromat, a colour normal person, would necessarily see this as an affliction, something to be deleted. But here, where the family is close and where they function well, and where there are other achromatopic people on the island, uh, this, is, this is part of identity. And one has to be very careful about saying it's a problem, a nuisance. Some things are clearly a problem, like the, uh, li like the dislike of bright light, but that's dealt with. Now, one mustn't romanticize here. There is certainly an abnormality if you want, but also I think one needs to define normality in terms of adaptation and role. And I wonder, therefore, if, despite the achromatopia, whether he's just happy to have healthy children and, and the achromatopia be damned. The Pingalapis have their own explanatory myths for the origin of the eye disease, of pregnant women walking on dazzling beaches, of gods and kings and invaders from overseas. I sought out Jacob Robert in his darkened storeroom at the local school. He too is colorblind. According to a uh, legend, the king of uh, Pingalapa had the son. Then the son found a young lady. And they went to the king asking for marriage. And they were rejected by the king. At that time, the uh, son of the king fell down and died. The spirit of the son got married to that young lady. After that, the young lady got uh, pregnant, and the, uh, the first son had this uh, eye disease. That's the uh, legend. Jacob's own theory is rather different. He believes that the color blindness was brought from outside. Maybe because of the uh, coming of the white men, there might be someone married to a Pinglapis lady and started this uh, disease. And of course, there's a considerable coincidence between the first appearance of white men in any numbers on Pingalap in 1810, 1820, and the appearance of the uh, Pingalap eye disease two generations after the typhoon. So it's, uh, it's an awkward sort of coincidence, and one obviously which uh, superstition uh, could easily latch on to. And beside, the white man has a rather bad record. He brought syphilis, he brought measles, he brought tuberculosis, he brought smallpox. Why shouldn't he bring achromatopia? Jacob even suggested that the eye disease might have come from Finland. Somebody, the doctors told me that uh, there is a place in Finland that people have this disease. I believe that there might be someone from there 